Hey guys, once again we have this HP Envy Photo 7858 printer. In this video we're going to go over some alignment issues and how you can also bypass the alignment if you don't want to deal with those issues and hopefully get your printer back up and running. So don't forget to like and let's get right to it. So the printer is asking for the alignment and it says you can do it later or you can just go ahead and do that right now. You can just do later if you want to go bypass it and keep on going with it. And if um, you don't want this message to pop up anymore, you can also do that uh, bypass that we're going to show later. So for now, I'm just going to press OK and see what my alignment looks like. OK, so my page was printing and it printed nothing. So most likely my uh, ink cartridges are clogged. They're not good. And it says alignment unsuccessful. Now we're just going to go ahead and press OK. Um, and then definitely at this point, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the cartridges. So you got to make sure that the cartridges are printing. And the two main colors for an alignment to pass, you need a blue or cyan cartridge uh, or cyan um, color to go through, even if you have like partially clogged uh, yellow or magenta. And also, of course, the black has to be fully 100% in order to pass the alignment test. So we're going to check into that. So I did have only one ink cartridge in here, which is a uh, single mode, single cartridge mode. And it's fine if you do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to clean it. What I do is I usually get some paper towel. I'm going to put some cleaner on there or just warm water works too. And we're going to spray some on, on the paper towel, kind of make it very wet and put the... Um, you can see the cartridge, like the nozzles right here. We're going to go ahead and tap that. We do get a stamp, but it's not very good. So you can just go ahead and try cleaning that by moving it back and forth. Um, let the uh, cartridge sit over the napkin for a little bit. And if I do the stamp on a dry towel, it looks healthy so I don't know if, if we did anything right now but anyway another thing we can do is also shake the cartridge so just a simple like kind of like shake it a little bit and just get the uh, ink down so um, it did kind of show a good test on the dry uh, napkin if I put it here I'm not sure how that's gonna do what you can also do is just kind of put the cartridge upside down uh, and let it sit, just squirt a little bit of uh, window cleaner on here. Um, that should be good. It shouldn't be too harmful. Um, and then try putting that in. Make sure this side, the contact area, or the pins where, where the pins contact the cartridge, make sure that's dry before you put it in. See if that changed anything. Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go to settings or to setup and then go all the way down to reports and I'm just going to print a, a quick quality report. Okay, so the print report came out good. It makes a good black uh, color with the three colors there, the cyan, magenta, and yellow. You can see magenta needs a little bit more cleaning, but cyan and yellow look pretty good. And like I said, cyan should do the job and the black looks good too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to setup again, and we're going to go to uh, maintenance. Oops. Oh gosh. Yeah, scroll all the way down to print and main printer maintenance, and then you're going to say align cartridges just to run our alignment again. And you're just going to press continue. It's going to try to align right now. We'll see how that goes. So the first thing that we reviewed is the cartridge. Make sure that's putting out color. If not, and we, after cleaning, you weren't able to fix anything, then most likely the cartridge needs to be replaced, unfortunately. Okay, so I guess it just needed the... It printed out this here with just cyan color on there. Um, and it says alignment successful, so that fixed the problem for this um so very good if that was the issue with your alignment then hopefully you were able to resolve it the same way so it was, it was very simple okay the second thing that we can check is this timing strip right here it's a strip in the back of the carrier unit 
is this one right here. It's like a clear film. Oops, I can't. Uh, right under there. So you can see it kind of. Um, if that's dirty, then it also like mess up your alignment. And of course, just on regular prints, you're going to see like breaks in the line. If you had, for example, a line like this here, you would see a vertical lines if you had a dirty timing strip. So that's cleanable. You can also just use uh, either warm water or um, or some cleaner on the uh, tiny, um, on the paper towel. So that's that should be pretty simple. So that's the second thing. The third thing that we're going to talk about that you may want to check is make sure that um, that your glass is clean. But it's not for this model. There's mo models of HP printers that actually require you to print out a timing. I mean, an alignment page, and then you're going to put it on here. Make sure you put it to the correct corner and face down and it'll scan it and that's how it aligns it. But like I said, it's not for this model, it's for many other printer models. So if you're watching this and the 7858 is not your printer model, but you have one of those where it prints out a page and then it wants you to scan. If you had a good printout and had all the black and uh, blue lines on there, what you would just need to do is just put some cleaner again on the paper towel and just wipe it down real good and you should be good. I've run into those issues before and that's all it needed so um, and then it'll pass the alignment. So that was just kind of like an input about a little bit of a different printer model. And finally there's a step that we can do to bypass the alignment. If you went through everything you're satisfied with the a color that it puts out for example it puts out a black color and you don't want to buy a color cartridge and you just want to bypass this whole uh, alignment thing what you do is you're just going to go into a support menu and we have that in the other video but i'm going to show it to you again it's very simple so when you have your printer in the on the home page uh, here uh, if you press anything you will see where the back button is and you probably know it by heart by now since you've had this printer for a while uh what you're going to do is just go to home screen again and then you're going to press the back button four times in a row one two three four that takes you to the support menu then you're going to scroll down all the way to so you're going to scroll down to the print diagnostic menu and then you're going to press ok and then choose a bypass pen alignment and then you're going to press OK to bypass that. Um, so that's something that you can do on this printer model. Um, most likely you're not going to get to the bypass part, but if, like I said, if you just don't want to deal with it anymore, you've, you've tried this and that and didn't work, so just go ahead and do that. So once again, let me just show you. You're going to press the back button to, uh, four times, and then you're going to go to the support menu. So that's pretty much it with the alignment on the Sprinter model and similar ones. And I appreciate you staying with us. Don't forget to like and uh, have a wonderful day.